you've heard of bullet journaling before, right? No? Where in the world have you been? Keep watching and I'll tell you what it's all about. Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. There's a shiny red button right down below. It, uh, I think it says do not press, but that uh, just makes me want to push things so much more. So um, go ahead and push that button and you'll be notified of when I post new bullet journal inspiration every week. So what is this bullet journal you speak of, Sam? Let's get to it. A bullet journal is whatever you want it or need it to be. In layman's terms, a bullet journal is a customizable notebook. You can customize it to fit whatever you need it to do. All you need is a pen and a notebook. You can use any type of notebook. You can use a line ruled notebook. Generally though, people use dot grid notebooks because they're easier to plan in. What a dot grid notebook is, is a notebook with dots instead of lines. Then you'll need some inspiration and maybe a little bit of excitement. Because come on, who wouldn't be excited to get their life in order? According to bulletjournal.com, a bullet journal is a customizable and forgiving organization system. It can be your to-do list, your sketchbook, notebook, and diary. But most likely it will be all of the above. And it will teach you to do more with less. It's everything you need, all in one place. It's one notebook to rule them all. You need a planner? It's got you. Need a shopping list? got you there too. Do you just need a creative place to let go? It can handle that. Do you enjoy making lists but you can't seem to find them after you make them? You write down your shopping list to the nearest store to you to do all your shopping, rummage through your purse and realize, darn, I left my list on my kitchen counter. Bummer. Too bad you didn't have a bullet journal to keep it in. With a bullet journal, you can just carry it along with you and you have all of your lists right there. You have your lists from last week. So hey, I want to make this food thing that I made last week, but I don't remember what I put in it. It's a good thing I have my bullet journal with my shopping list on it from last week. If you watch this video here, I can show you how to create a list that you can take out of your journal and take along with you and then put back in later. Don't leave it at home though. Do you need to plan a birthday party and remember what time to pick up the cake? No problem, write it all down in your journal and you won't have to worry about a thing until you're all ready to party! There are a few myths about bullet journaling that I want to tackle today. The first of which is, I don't have time to do that. I don't have time to sit around and, and plan out my day. Who does that? First of all, it helps you save time. If you're thinking about a thing you need to do and you write it down in your journal, then you don't have to think about it anymore until it's time to do that. Or you can look back and say, oh yeah, I was supposed to do this thing. Better do that real fast before I forget again. Which brings me to my second point. You're not gonna forget anything that you needed to know because it's all gonna be right there in front of you. Back to the shopping lists. You're not gonna be searching for all those lost lists because they'll all be in one place. And finally, writing out your to-dos actually helps you remember them. Imagine that. The second myth is, man, I'm not creative enough to do that. You don't have to be creative. The original creator of the bullet journal, writer Carell, his plan for the bullet journal was more simple than what you might see on Pinterest. His system is a system of bullet points and tasks that you need to do each day that you can just cross off and go on about your day. You can add creative stuff to it to make it more interesting and to let your creative juices flow, but uh, you don't need it. You can watch his video up here, I'll link it in the card, and you can see how the original bullet journal came to be. And everyone is a little creative. You might not be religious, and I'm not religious either, but they say that God created us in his, in his image, and God was creative, so therefore humans are creative too. How else did the world come to be? How do we have cars and, and movies and other things that people have created? Everyone's creative. You just don't know it yet. Little fun fact. The more you create, the more creative you'll become. Can you draw a stick figure? Hey, me too! Everyone can draw a stick figure. You can draw a stick figure flower, stick figure dog, stick figure trees, stick figure houses. Just don't let the big bad wolf come and blow it down. Now to the third myth. Man, I don't have any fancy supplies. You don't need any fancy supplies. All you need is a pen and a notebook. Nothing fancy about that. Use what you have. If you don't have any washi tape, but you want to put a picture in, 
just use some regular scotch tape. Gives your journal some variety. May not be the prettiest, but you can always grab another pen and just doodle on your tape and give it some polka dots or something. There you go, got yourself some washi tape. Extra supplies are fun, but they're not really necessary. Some of the extra supplies that I've used are washi tape, pictures that you can print out on your printer, or you can take them on your phone and print them out later. You can use colored paper or scrapbook paper. You can use stamps. I love using stamps, especially for people that don't think they can draw. If you need something fancy in your journal, just stamp it in. You can use stickers, you can use markers, you can use paints, watercolors, and all sorts of different types of embellishments. Let your imagination run wild. The list could go on, to be honest. You can put whatever you want in there. It's your journal. Do what you want. Personally, I've always loved planning, but I could never stick to a traditional planner for more than two days. A bullet journal is a blank slate, and you can turn it into whatever your little heart desires. Let your imagination run wild. There is so much more to this planner than meets the eye. You can keep a list of collections, which are things that you want to keep track of. So you can keep a list of movies that you want to watch, books you want to read, habits that you want to make or break. Keep your favorite songs in there. You can keep track of your physical and mental health by using sleep and mood trackers, health and fitness trackers, weight loss trackers. If you're going to school, you can keep your school notes and your class schedule in there. If you're a stay-at-home mom and you like to cook dinner, you can keep your recipes and your family's favorite meals in there as well, along with your shopping lists. Or you can just create a master shopping list and you'll never have to make a shopping list ever again. There is so much you can do with a bullet journal. It's your life in a notebook. And when your life changes next month, your bullet journal changes with you. It's adaptable like that. Does it sound interesting enough yet? Now you may be asking, but Sam, how do I get started? Well. In the words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it! There's no time like the present. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Write them out in your journal and follow them. You can start in the middle of the month, in the middle of the year, in the middle of your life. Just do it. Everything else will start to fall into place. You can start by making a list of things that you want to keep track of in your journal. Then you can Google search some inspiration or scroll through Pinterest. You can also click a few of my videos and see how I keep my journal running. Just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, because like humans in life, nothing is perfect. Allow yourself to make mistakes, because then you'll learn from them. The more mistakes you make, the better your bullet journal's gonna look in a couple of months. You can start with a monthly calendar, or not, and then you can move on to weeklies and dailies and keep track of your day-to-day -day life. You don't even have to do that, because it's your journal and you can do what you want. So what are you waiting for? Go get journaling! Go find a notebook and start planning! That's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what are some of your goals that you want to reach this month. You can uh, incorporate those into your journal too. You're welcome. If you want some new bullet journal inspiration every week, go ahead and click that red shiny button that says subscribe and you will be notified when I post a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to start your own bullet journal. I will see you next time. Stay creative. That's about it. <coughs> <coughs> Let me die first. If you want some more bullet, 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 bullet journal. If you want some more bullet journal inspiration, you can uh, click some more of my videos here. Nope, not what I, not what I was trying to say.